Welcome to Fast Philosophy. This video is part of our Introduction to Logic series and explains two other fallacies. The straw man fallacy and the leading question fallacy. Let's start with the straw man. The straw man fallacy is where someone represents a version of the argument they are arguing against in a way which misrepresents their opponent's argument, either by obscuring their opponent's argument or by reducing it to absurdity. For example, if my opponent argued bananas are good for your health, whatever is good for your health should be consumed, therefore bananas should be consumed. And if I argued my opponent wants us to abolish the treats of chocolate and only eat bananas for breakfast, dinner and tea, then I'd be committing a straw man fallacy. Straw man fallacies are a form of uncharitable argument. When something is uncharitable, it's misrepresentative. Now, the leading question fallacy is where someone offers two or more options as if they were the only ones available, when there are actually more options available. English director Alfred Hitchcock was fond of asking, oh, did you wash the blood off the knife? Which, in our ordinary grammar, only permits a yes or no answer, either of which implies that the answerer was in possession of a bloody knife. We can also find examples of the leading question fallacy in political debate. Uh, someone may fallaciously say, do you want pensioners to have free bus passes, or do you want them to freeze in the winter? But while these aren't the only options that are available, this is an example of the leading question fallacy.